Hey guys, it's Haley. With Endgame coming up, I don't know about you guys, but I am super excited about it. So I thought it'd be fun to recreate Brie Larson's Captain Marvel jeans that she wore. So I'm gonna try and do that. Uh, it's not necessarily a tutorial, but you can definitely, I don't know, follow along if you like. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to try and copy what her jeans look like. I picked up these Levi's um, from a thrift store just in case I screw them up. It'll be fine. They cost me $2.50, so I think I can live. We'll do that today, and I figured that I would talk a little bit about Marvel just because I'm excited. Also, disclaimer, sorry about the shadow behind me, but I'm using two cameras, and I wanted to have you be able to see what I'm doing. So if that's annoying, I apologize. I didn't really have a better way to set it up. So hopefully it's not. So I'm going to start by doing a base. Uh, I'm just gonna paint the pockets white just so that the actual colors will show up a little bit better. I'm using acrylic just because I've seen a couple videos and people painting their jeans and acrylic seems to be the way to go starting with my white base. Let's get that started. Wow. Um, I don't really have any sort of script or anything. I just, I don't know. I just want to talk about Marvel because I am a nerd and I'm very excited. I get to kill two birds with one stone. I get to attempt to be artistic <laughs> and nerd the heck out. So yeah, we'll, we'll try this. I'll start with my favorite movies. In my top five, because obviously there's like, what, 19 of them now? So I just, I don't really wanna sit here and talk for that long. My very favorite of all of them is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It's very important to me for lots of reasons. It was my first date with my boyfriend. That's basically why it's my favorite. <laughs> but also it's really good. I, I love Guardians. Those movies are hilarious. And I like the balance of action and comedy and they are also, I don't know, they make me feel a whole bunch of things and I love Peter and Gamora. I talk about them for too long, I will literally start crying, but <laughs> I don't know, all the characters, I'm just so attached to all of the characters at this point, which I think is kind of crazy because they've only done two of them. Well, I guess they were also in, um, they were also in Infinity War, so that counts. We've seen them, we've seen them three movies now, so I'm attached to them. I really like the dynamic that they have, and I feel like there's... A little misfit family and I resonate with that because I am also a misfit. And then my second favorite, although I think it's kind of tied for first, it's Thor Ragnarok. Literally, I can't even think of one bad thing about the movie. Everything about it I love. I've probably seen Ragnarok the most just because I, I can rewatch it and not get bored. It's just so fun and clever and I love Thor in it. He's so precious. <laughs> ah! The white is filled in. I did end up getting some white paint in random places, but bleh, it's fine. I don't think anyone's really gonna notice. Yeah, now I'm gonna sketch out the design with a pencil and then I'm gonna go over that with the paints. It's nice to see Thor having a good time before, you know, Infinity War, because that's that's just really rough. Thor's had a really crappy time. He's lost everything and everyone, but like seeing him have a good time, kind of. But it's definitely the funniest Marvel movie, I think. In my personal opinion, by far, it's so clever. Valkyrie, I'm in love with her. She's Everything about her is so good. I could just cry. I'm not even talking much. I'm just saying that I'm in love with every character in the Marvel universe. 
Valkyrie, I love her. I love her entrance. I feel like her entrance is just iconic. I don't know, she's just super badass. She deserves it. And my third favorite, which is probably, honestly, cinematically, stop. Cinematically, it's the best Marvel movie. Honestly, the best movie in the whole Marvel franchise. And I feel like most people would agree with me. Um, Black Panther. It's just so well done. And I appreciate how many layers there are to the movie and how, you know, it touches on so many different social justice issues. You know how Marvel does this thing where it makes you feel bad for the villain, but like you can genuinely see where Killmonger is coming from. It's really easy for me to understand where his point of views were and why he thought the way he did. He's way easier to sympathize with, I think, than any other villains. If I think about Eric too much, I get really emotional and angry at society. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> I'm trying to say that I really enjoy the different layers of the movie and I feel like it resonates with people for a lot of different reasons. The women in that movie are so well written. I feel like they almost outshine T'Challa. No offense, because I love him. He's he's amazing. I find like a lot of action movies, you have a certain type of women and they kind of stick with that, you know? There's like the token sexy girl or whatever, or like, oh, she's really cool. She's pretty and she can fight well. But with the women of Wakanda, they're all different people. They have their own agendas, their own personalities. They're just really well written. They're my favorite part of the movies, I think. And it's so beautiful. Like, it's such a well shot movie. Really a cinematic masterpiece, IMO. Number four, I'm gonna say Captain Marvel. And I feel like that's bold to throw in the top five. Because it's so new and I've honestly only seen it once, but I really enjoyed it. Again, a really well rounded written woman, which is important as a women, woman. <laughs> As a woman that actually enjoys these kind of movies, I feel like it's important to me to actually feel like the women characters are real. And Carol is very real. Her character arc in that is so much. I just, ugh, ugh. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I was born in the 90s, so I really liked a lot of the, you know, the fact that it was set in the 90s and the throwbacks and the nostalgia. And the soundtrack to that is so good. I've been listening to it almost every single day since I saw the movie. And it's I love Goose. Goose is my child. Um, I, I'm a cat mom, so I, I love cats. And Cats That Can Eat People is even better. Fifth favorite is probably Winter Soldier. Kind of hard to choose because honestly all of the Captain America movies are really good but I think Witcher Soldier is my favorite just because it hurts me. <laughs> I get so emotional in Bucky and Steve's friendship. Uh, friendship is one of the most important things in the world in my opinion. I just really love the fact that they had a action movie that is so based on friendship. Good. Steve is such a well-rounded character. He's a little golden retriever and he owns my heart. I would like to think that if I had a super, if I had any kind of talent and Steve Rogers was like, mm, kind of need help seeing the world, bro. Can you help me? I would like to say that I would give up my life to help him. Now that I'm saying that out loud, that sounds really cool. What else to say about Winter Soldier? This is a really good movie. It's really enjoyable to watch. Much it for me. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble about Marvel. So this is the, the final product and I'm pretty happy with it and it was a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.